I'm standing next to my old foxglove flowers. They've bloomed for such a long time and they are so, so tall. And they're just one of my favorite spring flowers to grow. And I don't really do much to make them grow. They self seed all over the place and I just let them do their thing. I don't really sow my own seed, but now is the best time to be collecting your seed, saving it and growing it because foxgloves are a biannual, which means they take two seasons or two years to really grow. So if you planted your seeds in the springtime, they won't actually bloom until the following year because uh, in the first year they put down their roots and grow lots of leafy growth and then they'll bloom the following year so what we do now is actually towards the end of summer going into autumn is now a great time to sow your seeds because they'll put up their leaves and their roots and start to grow throughout autumn and winter and then come spring next year they should actually flower for us fingers crossed um, and they're just such a great flower to grow. You know, they're so low maintenance. The bees absolutely love them. They'll grow in full sun, part sun, or deep shade as well. You know, they're a native to the British Isles. They grow in our woodlands. So they're just one of my absolute favorites. So um, I thought I'd show you a few ways that you can save the seed and spread them so you've got absolutely loads of them next year. Just remember, now's the time to do it. So get on it. So you'll know that your foxgloves are ready for the seed to be saved and sown when they've turned completely brown like this. And just a word of warning, remember that foxgloves are um, poisonous, so you don't want to be eating the flowers or even touching them barehanded because if you later on lick your fingers, you know, even in this dry state, they can give, still give you a bit of an upset stomach. So put your gardening gloves on, folks. You want to be saving your seed on a dry day as well. Um, if it's really wet, the seed is probably just going to rot and not be very viable. Um, dry conditions are the best for seed saving. So method number one, we're actually going to be sowing our seed direct onto bare soil uh, from its current state. So you wanna get a pair of secateurs, snip down that long stem, making sure it's all brown and crispy. And then you want to go over to a patch of soil or a place where you want to grow more foxgloves for next year and literally shake that stem. Shake it like there's no tomorrow. Shake all that seed out and um, no doubt quite a few of them will germinate with little to no other effort. Instance number two is if you're ready to collect the seed but you're not ready to sow it yet. So the conditions are nice and dry, you've got a brown paper bag with you, your secateurs, and you're going to put the paper bag over the top of the stem and then cut off the stem at the base and tip it all upside down so you're going to catch those seeds as they fall, give it a little shake and you should get lots of seed in the bottom of that bag. That can now be saved in a nice dry, cool, uh, sort of dark conditions until you're ready to sow it. But remember, I recommend sowing it before the end of summer if possible. If you want to sow your seeds in a seed tray, you can do that. Um, it's best to sow them directly onto the top of the surface and not cover the seed at all with any compost or uh, vermiculite. They need light to germinate and they're really, really fine seeds. So if you cover them up, you'll probably bury them too deep and they won't get enough sunlight. Uh, so just sprinkle the seed directly on the surface, give them a little watering and keep them somewhere cool and out of direct sunlight so they're not going to get too hot. Um, definitely not in a greenhouse you know at this time of the year uh, they want to be outside really but somewhere sheltered so perhaps behind a shed or next to a wall would be perfect i'm quite lucky that i still have this foxglove blooming here which is the sutton's apricot variety of foxglove and it's worth mentioning that if you're growing any hybrids um, hybrid varieties um, if you save the seed they won't actually come true so this vox love here I cannot save the seed from and expect the apricot colour next year because it won't come true like that um, so yeah it's just worth bearing that in mind um, do you grow foxgloves where you're from are they a species that can grow I'm not sure if they're suited to all climates particularly those that are really hot because these naturally grow in quite damp shady conditions over here in the UK um, so yeah let me know if you like to grow them which ones are your favorites do let me know in the comments thanks for watching and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.